Hey, 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 everyone. It's Jennifer with DP Addiction Adventures, and it is sneak peek time. Oh my goodness, this is absolutely stunning. Right away, when you look at the box, you can tell it's going to be around because of this gorgeous pink circle DIY diamond art kit round diamonds. So you know exactly what you're going to get. Are you ready to see? <gasps> it's all over Facebook, all over Instagram. It's Look at Me by Lolo or Lola, I apologize, Gonzalez. How beautiful that is that. It is a 20 by 22, which translates into a 50.70 centimeter by 55.8 centimeter. I like this. I consider this a bite size because I'm used to very large paintings. Anything that's in the 50 centimeter area is so nice. My arms can reach it. I can just enjoy it, take a deep breath, get it done in a couple weeks to a month. But look at those colors. Absolutely gorgeous. Can't wait to dive in. Inside this lovely box, you're going to get your beautiful canvas wrapped in Diamond Art Club Do What Makes You Sparkle wrapping. You're going to get your toolkit and you're going to get a log sticker that has all the information on it. You could put this on top of your storage kit. You could put this in your log book. Put it on the end of your box if you're storing it and you want to see what's inside and the photo is not present on your like where you put it on your shelf so absolutely gorgeous well let's dive into the toolkit i know diamond art club is switching over to non-cover minder perforated plastic tops but if i flip this over this shows there's a cover minder in it so this may not be one of the perforated tops but we're gonna see we're gonna dive in. They're in transition right now. Anything new that comes out that has not already been through production is going to be the perforated tops. So you're gonna get your baggies and they give you enough baggies for the amount of colors. You're gonna get a pen and I love that Diamond Art Club is specific to detail and matches the pen with the squishy. This is a single placer. You're going to get some multi-placers. You can put them on the end of the pen. All of a sudden you have a dual pen. This is a four placer and a seven placer. You're also gonna get two heart waxes in a container. You're gonna get a random washi tape. Look how beautiful that purple flower motif is. This one's going to have your cover minder. What is a cover minder? It's some beautiful object with a magnet and a second magnet. The beautiful part goes on top to hold back your plastic and the bottom goes underneath your canvas. They click together and that keeps your plastic out of your way as you're diamond painting. And you're going to get your tray. It has a stopper in it. There's like a little hair in there. So. There's the stopper, so when you shake it, shake it, it's not going to fall out. And then you can control when you dump it back into your baggies or storage kit up container. We're going to slide these over to the side. And we're going to dive into the canvas, which is why you're really here, right? You want to see what the rendering looks like. You want to see the vibrancy of the drills, the quality. We're going to dive in and check this out. All right, so you got your patented velvet feeling backing. You've got your surged edges. So that if your canvas does decide to be naughty and fray, it's not going to fray past that surged line. Okay, so as we unroll... <gasps> Do what makes you sparkles on the top. You're going to have your key in the upper left and there is gonna be a key in the bottom right as we unroll this. Are you ready? And unroll it sideways. Look how gorgeous that is. Oh my Atlanta. We're gonna get close and personal, don't worry. Even though this is, um, uh, 50 by 50 ish size. It has 65 colors. They did this artist justice. So let's look at this canvas and I was wrong. This is why I love opening canvases in front of you. This actually does have 
see if we can see it right here, the perforated um, plastic. So what you're gonna do, as you can see here, see the perforations? All right, so you're gonna be able to, it stops right here, that's roughly a four by six area. You're gonna be able just to snap that off and do that section if you want. You could use your washi tape to section it off so you can see where the plastic stops and starts. I know sometimes that's helpful because if you don't know, you could start laying drills on the, <laughs> the plastic, which I have done before, especially if I'm multi-placing. Two or three drills will go on the sticky and two or three drills will go on the plastic. And then of course the ones that are not on the sticky part or the glue part fall right off. It's crazy. I'm super excited. This is my first canvas ever with the perforated. So I cannot absolutely wait. Let's look at the drill field. I'm gonna get up close and personal if my camera decides to focus. There we go. So look at that. Look how beautiful those symbols are. Absolutely gorgeous. While we're down here, you're gonna get your thumbnail pasting area. This is important, especially if you have a partial. This is a full drill, meaning the diamonds go all the way to the ends of the glue. But if it's a partial, um, there's gonna be white area where the drills aren't laid down. This shows you the size. This shows you it's Lolo Gonzalez from Diamond Art Club and it's licensed. This is going to give you some of your social media connections. You've got your lifetime warranty, guarantee, and your support. Okay, so here are your symbols. Standard DAC symbols. Okay, and these are the rounds. Oh, it's just gorgeous, guys. Just beautiful, beautiful. I love the detail of the inside here, the vibrancy of the colors. What gets me every time with Diamond Art Club, um, let me, whoops, the shaky shaky, <laughs> is the blending. They do such a good job of paying attention to where the blending needs to happen from one color into the next. Okay, so here is your sticker sheet. All these stickers can either go on the outside of your baggies or they can go on your kit up. This is what the photo looks like, the painting. You can put this in your logbook with the stop and start date. Absolutely gorgeous. You also get a how-to, some tips and tricks in here. Okay, absolutely beautiful. All right, let's look at the drills. Close your ears because we are going to crinkle, crinkle. You're gonna see right here, it is labeled the um, number that it's supposed to be. My goodness, my camera just does not like me today. Um, and it's look at me, so if you do separate your drills from your canvas, when you store them, you can easily find them again. Also, when looking at the sticker sheet, we can see here that anything below 150 is going to be ABs. So there's one, two ABs. And then they hide their specials down here. So you've got one, two, you've got some fairy dust, two fairy dots down here. So that's what we're going to be looking at when we look at the drills. These colors are so vibrant. Vibrant and beautiful. I would say I could never work at the factory because I can't put this stuff together to save my life. All right, so we're, look at these beautiful purples. Vibrant yellow. There's one of the ABs. Absolutely gorgeous. It's going to pop. AB is Aurora Borealis. Um, and it just gives a little bit of a sheen. Here's another one. I like to think of it as kind of a sequency feel. You got all these beautiful, vibrant colors. 600. I love 600. And this artist did an amazing job of vibrant and undertones and just, just amazing. Just amazing. Let's go to the next one. These are the train, the drills. 
On the train. Come on, ride the train. It's a coming. <laughs> Ooh, I love 9.15. Oh, we got little stragglers in there, which are from the 600 or 6,020. They just wanted to have a friend. Ooh, that's pretty. It's like a mauve color. 814, a wine color. This is like a salmon color. So beautiful. All right. They've really stepped up their game with the amount of colors they have. Okay, so here's one of the fairy dust. And if we look at it, you'll see it's like a mica powder that gives it this soft undertone. So you're gonna get a different light hitting on it. Ooh, that's a pretty color. All right, here we go. We're getting there. We're getting there. Look at how many 310s. Very few 310s there. All right, and we're on the last one. Here we go. We're still looking for one more fairy dust. Ooh, I haven't seen 817 in a while. All right, here's another fairy dust. Let's get some of the top showing. You can see that mica powder in there. So pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. You let me know what you think. This is going to be beautiful for this spring. Just vibrant, fantastic coloring. The reds and the pinks and the mauves. Absolutely gorgeous. You let me know what you think about this flower, this painting, and the rendering that DAC did. Absolutely fabulous. So until next time, be blessed, take care, and enjoy the new perforations. Love you guys. Bye-bye.